Now we are going to learn how to measure the value of input impedance of the transistor. Input impedance is one of the important parameters of the transistor that can be measured by drawing the graph called input characteristics curve. To draw the input characteristics curve, what we have to do? First we have to keep the value of VCE as constant. By using this voltage adjuster, slowly increase the voltage adjuster and slowly it should be set as 5 volt voltage across collector and emitter its value is how much 5 volt this one must be kept constant throughout the experiment this one should not be altered now VBE value what is VBE VBE means voltage voltage across base and emitter what is VBE voltage across base and emitter is called VBE that should be varied and IB. What is IB? IB is called base current. The voltage across base and emitter VBE must be altered. The corresponding variation in the base current to be noted. This one should be altered and this one should be noted. This one should be kept constant. Now I am going to vary the value of VBE. Now it is 0. VBE value is 0. IB value is also 0. Make a note in your tabular column. Now I am going to increase the value of VBE from 0 volt to 0 0.1 volt. Now it is increased from 0 to 0 0.1 volt. VBE value is 0 0.1 volt. Note down the reading in the IB. It shows 0. Note down. Now it is increased from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. What is the reading here? Again IB value is 0. Now the value is increased from 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. 0.2 to 0.3 volt. Note down the corresponding reading in the IB. Now it, show, it shows 0. Now the reading is increased from 0.3 volt to 0.4 volt. Are you clear? Without any parallax error you have to measure. 0.4. Note down the corresponding reading in IB. IB value is 0. Often you check it up whether it is kept constant or not. It should be exactly at 5 volt. Now the VBE value is increased from 0.4 volt to 0.5 volt. What is the corresponding reading here? 0. Now it is increased from 0.5 to 0.6. Note down some small deflection is shown there. Now we have to find out which reading is, which division is coinciding with the pointer. That is very important. Understood. Here at the 10th division 50 is there. 50 divided by 10 is equal to how much? 50 divided by 10 is equal to 5. 5 is the least count of the micrometer. So what is the least count of the micrometer? 5. In which division that pointer coincide? Third division. Are you clear? 3 into 5. 3 is the division where pointer coincides. 3 into least count of the micrometer is 5. Therefore 3 into how much? 5. 3 into 5 is equal to 15 microampere it is showing. For 0.6 volt, for 0.6 volt, 15 microampere is the value shown in IB. Okay. Now it is increased from 0.6 to 0.7. Now the reading is 0.7. Note down the reading here. Which division is coinciding with the pointer? Note down. 10, 20, 20. 8. 28th division is coinciding. 28 into 5. 28 into 5 is nothing but how much? 140. So 140 microampere is shown in the micrometer. For 0.7 volt, 140 microampere is the IB value. Okay. Now it is increased from 0.7 to 0.8. Now if it is increased from 0.7 to 0.8, the uh, pointer it goes beyond the scale therefore you do not take the value so IB was varied sorry VBE was varied IB was noted finally VCE is kept constant no down when VCE is kept constant VBE was varied IB was noted so this is the method of taking the reading in the case of input characteristics of the NPN transistor understood
Now we are going to calculate the input impedance of the transistor. Already by using the uh, tabulated values, the graph is being drawn. In x axis, the VBE values to be taken. In Y axis, base current IB are taken. By using the tabular column values, all the values are plotted and the graph is drawn. So after plotting all the values, after connecting all the points, you will get the uh, graph like this. The shape of the graph, it will be like this. Now to calculate the input impedance, the formula is Ri is a symbol for input impedance. Ri is equal to del VBE divided by del IB. This is the formula. Del VBE means difference in base and diameter voltage. What is del IB? Difference in base current. In between these two, the ratio to be taken. Del VBE. How to calculate del VBE? Look at the graph. Here, in del VBE, find out the maximum value. Here, if the graph, the values are, uh, after plotting the values, we have to draw the slope. I have drawn the slope here. Just you extend the line towards x axis. This is the maximum value of VBE. After intersection, you will get the maximum intersecting point here. That is called what is this? This is a maximum value. What is the maximum value here? 0 0.65. And look at the minimum value, intersection value. There you will be getting 0 0.62. Okay. Look at the difference in IB. What is the maximum value? 80. Here if it is extended, you will get the minimum value of IB. That is 40. So 80 minus 40 is a difference in value of IB. That is del IB. That is measured in microampere. Now you have to subtract. Now after subtraction you will get 0 0.03 volt. Okay. So after that, that is to be divided by which value? The IB value. Subtract. You will get uh, 40 micro ampere. Okay. Now calculate. 0 0.03 0 .03 divided by 40 the answer will be the answer will be 0 0.00075 0 0.00075 here it is in, it is given in terms of microampere okay so i'll extend the value 0 0.03 volt whole divided by divided by microampere can be converted into ampere 40 into 10 to the power of minus 6 if it is brought up that one becomes 10 to the power of 6 after multiplication you will get 750 ohm 750 ohm is the value of ri this is called as what is this input impedance okay so this is the method of finding the value of input impedance